What is up, guys? This is HazmatGamer9842 here. Today, we are going to be playing some Nomad's Craft. And, uh, zero craft. I am so sorry for the mess up, guys. And so, yeah, so you might be wondering, what is this um, going around here? And, uh, so, I'm just going to point out, today is not an actual video. I guess this is a channel update, and, uh, pretty much it is to explain what happened here. So, ooh, I took fall damage. I did not know that. Actually, I think I did know. You know what? I don't really know. I guess it, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess it would still happen on snow, but I didn't really think about that the fact that snow did cause the fall damage because to me it is a soft block so like you know like you know actually why does sand cause fall damage that is also a soft block so i guess it makes sense will also cause those fall damage but you know it might be reduced you know so i probably should look that up but yeah, so you might be wondering, what is the, all this snow, and why was I not there? So, to start off, um, we had a quote-unquote live event, and basically it was to gain players' interests and stuff. Oh, so that'll eventually melt. Okay. So, and it was either we get... You see that dam thing over there? It's like, uh, well, it's a dam, and it had water coming out one side and ice on the other. And we were asked to choose between, like, some cool jungle, uh, like, jungle swamp thing, which probably would cause, um, it to be, like, more water in the village and stuff, or to have, like, more of a tundra theme. And we chose tundra theme. Uh, yeah, so. You know, water's coming out this side, and ice was coming out this side. So, it clogged that side. All the ice clogged that side. And ice started freezing the other side. And we went into a winter. Yeah, a winter. And so, now, we're all snowed in. And there is, uh, other players online. And I was just on call with them. So, while well, that actually went down to bedrock. So, there's this area. This was that, like, villager hole thing. Oh. I honestly forgot how we're supposed to get out of there. Um. <sighs> yeah, just ask them. So, yeah, so... We aren't really supposed to break any of the glass. And we are asked not to record the live event when we voted. And so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, it all froze over. And in some areas, the water flow stopped. Some it froze over. And when I say froze over, I'm going to show you what I mean. So, this is really cool what everyone did. Ooh, this looks like a farm oh they don't want the fire aspect on the pigs up there oh that's cool okay yep that makes sense i see why fire aspect was asked not to do it because it would clog it up so now we can forget about the bridges because we do not need them anymore they actually can get in your way depending on who you are but you could still have a nice stroll with your boat so i built this oh and if anyone needs to get out, they just break the top slab because these are all slabs. So if you see, there's still some half of an exposed ice block. And this was just a fishing hole because under here, this entire lake, there's water right below it. And that is why you can still hear the water effect. So, yeah. And it went all the way to over there. And, um... So yeah, so it's all over, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to need to figure out how to get a camera account for larger products, because talking about a larger project, um, me and Ready123 were thinking of creating 
just something nice for the community because instead of having to like um we're, we're doing everything community based everyone can be able to trust each other um so on and so we are doing something for the community and up here will be the water not up there but up on top of this mountain will be the water elevator entrance and this is of course if you get approval from pyro because we need to create the design but for the first ever super sorter system on the server and not only um will it be just for us or for me and ready one two three interesting art or that might be an arcade machine um who knows but yeah so the goal is to get this for the community because we want to help out and over here you're going to see the works of a super smelter if you guys have any good designs that do not involve mine carts and are very easy to do please just um put a link in the comments because i'd really really appreciate it because we're not supposed to use minecarts and i built that for minecarts so yeah and this is pyro space i'm giving a tour i guess and you know i guess it i guess it didn't really snow down here all of this is his he claimed all of this and he has some really good plants and stuff yeah yeah so um i think that is our video i really didn't have anything planned but i wanted to share this new um extension i guess to the world and there will be live events in the future which we may or may not be be able to um stream so yeah uh i might even put a link for my twitch in the description so you guys can uh sub i think it's called i don't really know what it's like specifically called but like join so you can get notified i'm you know what i'm just gonna do it via youtube so make sure you have your notification bell on and i will stream on youtube until i get known enough to make it sense to be doing twitch because either way i wouldn't be monetized and that's really the only point to doing twitch um yeah so yeah yeah um click the notification bell and if we are allowed to stare um yeah wait what 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 is this here i'm not allowed to mine it okay i'm gonna have to ask pyro about that he is a mod it was probably for the live event because well you know this uh, at the stage we're currently in was actually a very a very far stage in um yeah but it was a total blast and maybe next time you guys will be able to be there too so uh i thank you guys for watching so yeah this is hazmat gamer out ah oh, great video guys thanks oh, i still haven't stopped thanks for watching bye